joining us. Thank and you. then we have Annex, who is a businessman and he uh, yeah. is single. I have to say that. Because I don't bring married people into this. Uh, I already told you it's not a show for married people. <laughs> well, another person who is single, I don't know if he's available, Shao, but he's in this studio is Benjamin. Benjamin. Oh wow! Okay. He said, "Oh, <laughs> he said, oh wow." Listen, oh, listen, fam. So when I introduce you as single, I'm just mm-hmm. saying you are not married. You're not married. You can be in uh-huh. multiple relationships. You can be, you can be doing whatever you are doing. <laughs> Somebody said, "Okay, so I, so I saw a tweet. Yeah, uh, I saw a tweet yesterday on Instagram where that someone put and uh, put up. The person said, "So I asked this girl out, and she told me she has a boyfriend. What is my business with that?" <laughs> yeah. Do you so people do not care, care anymore. any longer. So anything can actually happen in that relationship. There's also a, uh, a post or a meme that I saw where someone said, there's a relationship that I'm eyeing like this. Any small, <laughs> mi- any small mistake. <laughs> any I mean. small mistake, I'm in it. But anyway, um, today we're going to be d- discussing a very interesting and exciting topic. Wherever you are, I do hope um, that you're watching us live, of course, on TSTV. And also that you can see us and listen to us with the links that we have on our social media platforms. That's why we said, you should follow us on Instagram at Bright FM 987 <clears throat> and also on Facebook, uh, Bright FM Abuja. And uh, we have a very active WhatsApp line that we would like for you to make use of during the show. Uh, the number is 070-3372-8313. Okay? Now, today we're going to be talking about... Okay, let me just start. <laughs> now, why do men need space in relationships is a question. Why do they get distant after intercourse or pull away when they're falling in love is a question. Why do guys never know what they want? It is a question. Mm-hmm. Y'all, y'all should not come for me. Mm. Now, for women who date men, the male brain can sometimes seem like a total enigma. And if you're having trouble understanding men in relationships, today's episode... We're going to clear your doubts on all of that. And we're going to end your your frustration and all your struggle to understand the male folk. (laughs) Now, first thing is first, okay, before we go right into the conversation, it's really convenient to blame um, any confusion or disagreement in the relationship on the guy, you know, or on your potential partner. And then, you know, the truth is men are different. The truth is no two men will be exactly the same in ways that they actually approach relationships. And if you feel like you don't understand the way your partner is behaving, that's most likely because he is not you. Mm -hmm. And I think that before we go into the conversation, women need to know that he's a whole separate human being who does not think the same way you do. And to understand how he thinks and what he wants, you're going to need to just ask him, which is why. We have asked um, a lot of intelligent young men out there this question because before the show, we put the question out on social media to get you know um, answers from our men. But today, our aim is to ensure that we put a stop to the endless misconception that we men have about men, which is why we are asking our dear men today, what do you need? women to know about men. Cassie, I'm going to start with you. I know um, you put this question out on social media. Yeah, yeah, What were the reactions like? I did, and the reactions were, you know, they were crazy at first because um, my friends were like, finally, Mm. the question is being asked. Please, (laughs) thank you for that. And then, um, at first, my other friend said, oh, I don't have replies. I don't know what to say. And I'm, I'm going to give you an example. And he's like, oh, if, it, if this is it, there's a whole lot. There's it, like, it's like, like a, a whole lot. <laughs> yeah. And then some people listed seven, some eight, some uh-uh. nine. And, and I just picked the ones I could pick because I was having headache even reading all of it. Mm. But basically, most of them were saying the same thing. You feel like when you, when you check what When you check saying. everything, most of the points were relating to what the other has to say it's mm. like let um just listen that was the basic point of the whole conversation mm-hmm. what every man was basically saying is listen to us too mm. because sometimes because um you know that thread someone put out about the um, guys yeah. are replying right yeah actually. a lady actually made a compilation of hers as well and okay she made a compilation and it was it was funny because they didn't make this thread for you to 
to de- yeah. dissect it, the minute yeah. for you to listen. Yeah, so that's the thing that people do when you're talking about mango, they start mm-hmm. talking about orange. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're talking yeah. about the chicken, they start talking about elephants. And uh, yesterday when we were having a conversation, you and I and Benjamin, and uh, we started talking about it. And Benjamin started bringing the whole mm. ladies aspect of it. I said, we're going to have this conversation next week also for the ladies. We're going for to be ladies. telling the men what the ladies need them to know about them. But you know, this conversation came up uh, as a result of the, the post that you, you talked about mm-hmm. that was trending actually um, on social yeah, media. Can, yeah. um, a young man obviously asked a couple of friends what, what men want. And uh, we saw a lot of things and we figured uh, some were so shocking to us when we saw them. Mm-hmm. We're like, oh, so these are the things that men want. So one of them is one said, just because I'm not talking doesn't mean I'm not enjoying my time with you. Um, another one said, we actually really want to be complimented to a 60 year old a uh, woman complimented me five years ago and it still makes me feel good which just shows how little we get compliments so we're going to have we, we have all of this question uh responses to the question that we asked on social media and basically what we're going to do is to dissect it true or false agree or disagree whatever the case may be Fantastic. we're going to be talking the first about two it. Agree. Uh, first two agree first two agree that men need compliments right need those compliments. so but as someone said the compliments we need are not uh compliments about our appearance so i was at the point where I'm like, so okay, so what kind of compliment it? does he need? So you're all on the studio, so I don't know who's going to start. Uh-huh. Um, get it? Maybe you want to start. It doesn't just have to be appearance, man. What does, when someone thinks of compliment, we think mm. oh, you're a fine boy, you're ah, bobo, mm-hmm. ah, <laughs> nah, you. Mm. But like, you could say, man, I admire your intellect. Like, mm. I like your writing. I like um, you are really good at this. You are good at that. Mm. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be Ah, you. You look say, good. Yeah, you okay. get a big bullet. Like, ah. It doesn't have to be. Oh, any of it doesn't have to be. Okay, so you just need like a, on the yeah, surface just, kind of like deep no, no, not something just, that makes you feel important. It, it could be basic. It doesn't necessarily have to be like ah, your writing is like William Shakespeare. It could be something basic like. Um, mm. Uh, you, you speak you're a well, caring person, or you, you smell are nice. Smell nice. Oh, I don't want to hear you. You smell nice. nice. You're really smell eloquent. Nice. Fantastic. You smell nice. <laughs> when that man said that, you people had a problem with nice. Okay, yeah, so uh, I mean, Alex. basically, right? I would say every woman being loves compliment. Mm, but yeah. the problem here is that ladies do feel that the whole world revolves around them. So hmm. they think okay, that, <laughs> they think that <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So Kinics. they think that men on our part we don't like this. Right, but yeah. the thing is that we show emotions <laughs> differently. So yeah. those compliments might not smile in front of you, but deep down, like we will not blush, we will not enter the room and be giggling. <laughs> exactly. But, like, <laughs> so that's what you're happy with I yourself. I feel nice. I feel warm. So those are the kind of compliments i would say men should i should get often. okay benjamin yeah. so i think it's it's quite simple right so, yeah um, guys are natural answers mm. so if a man is a natural answer at the point when he gets that prey i do not like this analogy but then if a guy is a natural answer and he gets this prey mm-hmm. at some time he should feel glorified mm. yeah right so ladies love attention it's yeah. basic Guys, I'm going. Cool. That's a big deal. Fantastic. Well yeah. So, like, I just ran after something and I I'm got it. Ladies, I love attention. Too. No, wait, no. I just, <laughs> just ran after something and I got it. So, please appreciate me at the end of the day. Mm. I'm not asking or demanding that you appreciate me every time. I'm like, once in a while, just tell me. I did try. I did try. I did try. Because I did try. I beg. Give me small cup. Okay. Give me small cup. All right. So, now, um, if you are listening, obviously, uh, and you want to tell us what you, as a man, you want to tell us what you need um, ladies to know about men mm-hmm. and do what send us a message. Message on WhatsApp 070 You can call in 081 30 11 17 24. Feel free to let us know. If you're a lady also listening, I would actually advise you to listen and mm-hmm. learn. But if you have something that you want to say, hey, feel free. Um, it's a full house and we're, we're open to um, any so suggestions and opinions of all sorts. Now, <laughs> that particular post went on to say that it is hard to get over you after a breakup we don't really have emotional support systems in place to rely on and a lot of men have small social circles so losing someone means a lot to us do you know what i said about that one i said yeah. some of some of my guys <laughs> is any light who are you deceiving? My friend said, I get over you with the speed of light. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I move yeah. on with the speed of light. That's not necessarily true. Okay. 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 My experience, yeah. I think, These there's, days it is. There's, there's, there's yeah, something nah, to look into there. Okay, okay. I, it was I, before. It, it was before. It's in fact. Yeah. We need to think that every man um, knows. Okay, can I, let me have a look. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so I understand that every man needs respect. And as much as I do not really want to sound so, so deep, um, a man is created to be a provider, protector, nurturer, and um, he just wants to be a friend, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So inside every man, 
you, you find a little boy there, still yeah, crying, yeah, yeah, yeah. still wanting attention. So you mean, guy got into a toxic relationship in the past, and then you know a part of him wants to move on because he's just conditioned that way, aside yeah. from societal constructs and all. Mm-hmm. Uh, he wants to get to forget that thing. But then the little boy in him reminds him that man, somebody hurts you. Yeah. So what does he do? He tries to move on. That's why your friend said at the speed so of. So how mind. does he move on okay, when so, we're not so, able so, so when we're not guys. able to see it? Because you know. You know, because I, 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 when I saw that particular um, comment, I said, oh, I find it's hard to believe because I've always found men who are able to move on mm-hmm. very easily from relationships mm-hmm. and all wow. of that. So if there's anything that they were feeling, we don't see it. And that's the thing with this whole conversation. Okay, so I think there's, there's a lot like, going it, on with men that we ladies don't from see. From the outside, From the outside. Yes. So but I think there's a thin line. If you dig deep, like, trust me, it cut him deeper than you. Yeah, have you yeah, ever... Yeah, okay, yeah, so, yeah, so yeah, let me yeah, ask this question. Me. Have you ever been in that, re- in that situation where you oh, broke off from a relationship and you I, found I, it very difficult? You just didn't ask that question. Definitely. Yeah, I, I have been. I'm asking. asking. But recently, how long? Did you take? Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. So how long did it take you to move on from it? Oh wow. Oof. Like, I like to keep it hundred. I like to yeah, be real yeah, yeah. because we're talking to real people who have real emotions. Emotion. So if you're trying to cover well, up the all thing everything, is, uh, everything. Uh, moving on is, is a personal thing, right? Of right. course, mm-hmm. it's different for many people. Yeah. yeah. So, but um, me personally, I've moved on from many things, even other than that relationship. Yeah. I've been hurt many times. Mm-hmm. So, but oh. what I found is that um, mm-hmm. once you can find a way to accept what has happened, right, you will find your happiness. Yeah. So that is how I always go with everything Preach. break up i just tell myself okay it's not that i'm a bad person mm. she doesn't don't like me anymore fine uh, and i move that on with be- that is something do yeah of course because i see myself as uh, i like I mean, <laughs> the fact that this has happened okay. yeah. accept the fact that it doesn't make you out of it like doesn't make you the world's most terrible person yeah. Yeah. okay yeah. even if it's your fault just tell yourself okay i made a mistake it's mm-hmm. time to move on yeah. and then tell yourself okay if it's really my fault there's something i need that to work need to on fix. there's something you need to right. fix you know, that's and then you say. just be healthy okay that's 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 what you said you know someone was so dear to me told me that every time he went through a wrong relationship and then he ended he dodged a bullet Mm. Because a broken relationship, most of the time we've had it, better than a broken marriage. The right. moment you get married yeah. with that wrong person, mm. it doesn't just affect you, it affects your life, your work, Everything. your buckles, like that's, your that's children, your family. Yeah. And then you, know, the you get the divorce, you, you don't know, know, and you know, again, society like doesn't really make it fair on us men, such that mm. the woman says, you beat up. Mm. Man, you didn't ah. do it, Anywhere. you've done it. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go right into um, uh, the, the comments that we have gotten so far. Uh, so this one is coming from Osondo. Osondo says that um, men are not superheroes. Men get caught too. Men cry too. And men are vulnerable too. Mm-hmm. I haven't Preach. seen a man crying Preach. physically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've seen a man crying on social media. I have. I've I never have. been. You know, you feel good to break up with someone and just have him cry. Uh, I have. Yeah. I have seen a man cry. I have oh. seen men cry. Uh, 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 I have yeah. seen yeah. Men cry. Kind of man. Uh, I don't know. Okay, wait. I wouldn't cry in front of anybody. No, 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 not the kind. You see, that's the thing. No, you, you know, we're making only like you. men only have a letter of men. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not that kind of, not, not just, not just like people I've dated. I mean, my friends. I've yeah. seen my friends. My friends would rather come cry to me than cry in front of their girlfriends. Uh, why? That's so, that's like, a, so your girlfriend doesn't know you're a human being. No, that's bad. You get I mean, it, and and they feel like no, they feel judged because some ladies say, ah. Why you go? They cry like woman. Uh, Do you understand? Uh, yeah, that even guys so, do say so, that. Let's yeah, that is safe too as well. It's all over that you should open up as mm-hmm, a man. Mm-hmm. For the truth mm-hmm. is, women are not ready for a man who opens up. Exactly. They're not ready to Why do you all have say you cry that? No, 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 wait. That is true though. Can you say you 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 it? See, trust me, you cannot say look open up and then say one night 1 a.m 2 a.m he taps you and like hey babe and then you turn over and it's like look and then you see tears in his eye and then you just, i would love when, that like, i would then, want that and no, I think at some point of view you me. start at, at some point you start seeing him as weak as, no not exactly like, no, no, no that's not no, okay okay no. okay this fine. is Okay, for, from, for experience, you. from experience and then the from majority. people that they, okay, from the majority get, so right if men are saying this trust them mm-hmm. we're telling you what I it is from a guy to a guy I'm sorry you met you met with the wrong folks mm-hmm. and all the stuff. But then okay. I met a few women, wonderful women, right? 
I'm in the relationship right now and I can cry in front of my husband. A beautiful uh, relationship. Yeah, I can't cry in front of my husband. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I've had one of those because, you know, had those experiences I'm you're with... saying, right? And then you try to be open with your partner and she's like, why are you crying? This is weird. Or she yeah, this you. Like, like, this yeah, man. like uh, you you man. man, man up. Uh, so, you know, that that's the thing where the person is not able to handle, or you know, a situation that just comes to her. And so mm-hmm. let's not generalize the thing. That, I know that majority, yeah, yeah, I know yeah, that majority yeah. of ladies will, you know, come with that reaction of, why is he always crying? Oh, I have mm-hmm, a cry baby for mm-hmm, a boyfriend or a husband mm-hmm, or anything. Yeah. But we're, we're also using this opportunity to enlighten ladies and educate yeah. women that it's not okay for you to see a man crying and you're like, why is he crying all the time? I also yeah. understand the place of, as a father, and as a head of the family, the protector, the provider and everything, you don't want to show a lot of fear in front yeah. of your family mm-hmm. that you're not in control of the situation. Mm-hmm. And so that's where that's the place of you trying to suppress it all. But I also know that God has given men that grace to be mm-hmm. able to deal with their issues no, without necessarily crying all yeah. the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There are times when you want to express yourself. For the ladies, you have them crying everything. They cry about their makeup, cry about their hair. They can oh cry about literally God. everything. Oh but God. for the men may not want to cry about everything because you believe. It is, it's, it's a follow something. Like I, I we, keep saying we move, some right? things are on the fault. <laughs> yeah. You just, want to, you just want to be able to deal with it without having to lament yeah. you know, about I, it. You add to that, just to say something, like, yeah. I mean, I've had uh, in as much as myself, I wouldn't cry in front of anybody. Oh. Oh. But still, I I don't judge people who do cry yeah, because absolutely. of course you should lash out. Me, if I have those moments, I go inside my room, lock my door, oh, and oh, cry oh, myself and out. But that's, a, that's, but a, that's something I would like to. See. I don't want anybody to ever see me. I that. don't know. I want to see <laughs> my. Yeah, yeah, I talk that, about that, my that's, feelings. That's the conditioning. Because my my friends on my podcast yeah. said, um, women want men to open up, but then half the time, what is bothering us might not seem you know might seem inconsequential to you. Yeah. Like my United lost the trophy, yeah, and then I'm right. home and I'm pissed. But why would they want to? Tell you. No, do you see that's the thing we no. don't understand football yeah. I watch yeah. football I get, I get the it's point I get the emotions that the right? head that so now when you when you come to me and you're, and you're sad expected. about I mean I don't you know I can't relate to what I'm like there there okay <laughs> sorry so let's, let's take a, a couple of comments from Cass I think you have a couple of comments uh, yes I do it. have a couple of comments and Dr. Uche says you can't force him to like your hobbies tell him about if he loves me he loves what I love Absolute BS. <laughs> okay. You may love telenova, sci-fi, or action movies. He might pretend and join you sometimes and suffer through it all with you. All right. But he will really be better off watching sports, Z-World, or African Magic Yoruba. Mm. He also Z-World. says, growing up, we were told to man up and not cry or mm. whine like a woman. Mm. But the truth is, we also want someone to listen to us and tell us it's going to be okay. Mm. We want to be able to come back and tell our woman how our day went, whether good or bad. Okay. And then he said, I know you really want to be with your man, but sometimes he just wants to be with the boys or be left alone. Doesn't mean he's cheating or he doesn't love you anymore. Okay. All right. So we have a comment here, and this one is coming from uh, Promise. Promise says, men will always cheat no matter what. So women should keep an open mind and be ready to always forgive. (laughs) Please. I I mean, from your response and your reaction. (laughs) Can I I, I answer that? Yeah, just very quickly. Okay, so um, a real man will never cheat. Death. A real man can never think about cheating. Mm. So if I say I love you, I understand my decision to say those words. Mm. I understand why I said what I said. Yeah. And I have the desire to stick to that decision for the rest of my mm-hmm. life. Except if you mess up. Death. And I have to. So I tell my partner that I can do anything for you, but I put a cost to it, anything that makes sense. Mm. So you don't tell me to go rob a bank just to give you money because mm. it doesn't yeah. just make sense. Mm. So, right. Understand that every man wants to be respected. Understand that every man has a sense of ego. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But also understand that every man needs to be inspired. Now, why do men cheat? Because they feel disrespected, they feel unheard, they feel uninspired. You know, so there can always uh, be excuses. But that is not, I'm not making excuses. I'm not making excuses. Right. I'm just trying to break, make a breakdown for you. So okay. you could emotionally cheat before you physically cheat. Mm-hmm. So, so you know, so to build up to physical. You know course. what is not, not, not for you people. You know what is time. funny yeah. about this, darling? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's not another, that's another conversation for another day. Another okay. day. So okay. So you have emotions. Emotional does not lead up to physical cheating. So okay. So 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 hold on, hold on, fam. In as much as we want to, you know go deep into dissecting mm-hmm. the whole why men cheat and come yeah, up with that, all kinds of excuses <laughs> and also that we have um, said that what the guy said is obviously wrong I mean men should not cheat and all of that exactly. but it would amaze you that there are a lot of number of men 
um, who actually agree with what he says mm -hmm. and who have that mentality that women should actually brace up. And I'm just trying to twist it and turn it around, and turn, flip the coin and say, what if women were the ones who said, you know what, women are going to cheat because we mm -hmm. always we have so many attention I mean, from different men. Ways, right? Yeah, yeah, women cheat. But what if it's women who are validating these things and saying, yeah, oh, just yeah. that, oh, we don't keep quiet about Do you want to keep women cheat? Okay, so more oh. comments. Uh, this one is from Pat. He said, there are no such things as general men. All men are not the same. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm still sounding yeah. out as a note yeah. of warning. Mm -hmm. All men are not the same, but men, most men have similar characteristics. Now, all men are not the same. While I understand that society has carved out a fashion and lifestyle design about how an authentic man should be, one who would kneel uh, to propose, who is outgoing, vocal, strong, etc. But your man may be simple, loves to work from the background, quiet and unassuming, introverted, etc. He went on to say, love him that way. That's his build up, his makeup, his design, fit for him, and the purpose to which he was called. Women should understand that you also have women of all types, and so there are also men of all types. Women should understand that while they expect men to love their physical appearance, whether they are slim, chubby, or athletic, men also crave to be loved without being reminded how far apart in cuteness he is from Ibuka of Big Brother Niger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, he this one has a personal growth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so Patrick went on to say that yeah. women should remember that a man craves deeply for peace even more than intercourse. Mm -hmm. And he would rather choose um, to become home to a, or to come home to a peaceful environment than have the red light atmosphere of a harsh woman. And he said, uh, men do not like to be compared. It's too humanizing to us. It pushes us beyond the limits of normal, mm -hmm. ascending yeah. us to do the unimaginable just mm -hmm. to please our women. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, we all agree to that particular yeah. um, statement. In fact, okay. comparing anybody at all, not just, let's say, exactly. if you take it outside exactly. the frame of men and so women, your say. kids whatever you don't compare mm. you know any like it's just wrong you, you don't compare any human using being. somebody yeah. to, uh, uh and placing him to the standards of another person that's yeah. just you don't like you could say ah man a is doing this why can't my man do this and then right you're, you don't know who man a is exactly. in, the, in, the, in his room you don't know what he does to his woman you don't Absolutely. know who he is yeah loki so you can't say Ah, if you're not like this, you're a failure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, 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 that goes right? without saying. Come just on. know your man. Yeah, so Come ladies, don't, do, do, do not do that. Do not compare your man. Osai says, um, I think women should know that men like ladies that are vocal, which ladies are actually. Uh, mm -hmm. Benjamin, don't you agree that ladies are vocal? You just. Uh, you agree that ladies are vocal, right? Yes. Okay, so uh, men so like far, it. Yeah. Uh, a lady should learn to yeah. voice out and confide in her man. Very important. Women should know how to compliment their men. We love being told we look good too. Mm -hmm. uh, it says men hate it when women keep secrets from them. Be open. Is that true? Do you true, guys hate true. it when women? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. A little bit of secret doesn't hurt anybody, but if you insist, okay. <laughs> so he said, when it comes to gifting women, women should know. We are clueless as a five-year-old doing uh, quantum yo, physics. We always give us head. Uh, yes. <laughs> women, wait, wait. So I think in this, in this, so in this form, yeah. so in this particular one, he's saying that a man doesn't know what to get for the lady. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, most times they how don't. How are you with someone that you don't know what we to get? We don't know. They might actually know, but they don't know how to go about it. We want you guys, ladies.